Jesus said, here I stand, will you please take my hand? And you said, I will, tomorrow, Jesus said, I am he who supplies all your need. And you said, I know, but tomorrow, ooh, tomorrow, I'll give my life. Tomorrow, I thought about today. Oh, Lord, so much easier to say. Tomorrow. Choose the Lord today for tomorrow. Very well might be today. Jesus said, Here I stand. Will you please take his hand? And you said, I will tomorrow. Jesus said, I am he who supply all our need. And you said, I know, but tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll give my life tomorrow. today. This imitation, I am not the greatest vocalist in the world. I don't do this to sing and show anything other than God. He wants us to be at peace. The only way we receive it is to accept his imitation to be the Lord of our lives. Christ Jesus of Nazareth, Hebrew Yeshua HaMashiach, Hamashiach means Christ. Christ means the anointed one. God anointed him, his son, to come and break the curse. And because he did it by dying on the cross, he buried all of our sins in that cave. And when he came out on the third day, we come out. As the Bible says that when we crucify our flesh, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, 
I've been crucified with Christ. Now, therefore, I will rise and, and, and be glorified with him. He wants to bring us with him. He did it so he can share that glory with us. This world is in perilous times. There is no guarantee. There's wildflower, fly, fire, well, wildflowers, but wildfires, earthquakes in diverse places, and more to come. The Bible says it. It's not a strange thing. It is in the Bible. There is so much calamity that is upon us that will come. That this says that the evil we will see in the last days will be something that no human has ever seen before. That means it's unprecedented, meaning it has never been seen or done before. You think it's bad now. Tomorrow is not promised. But with the promise of Christ Jesus, and you say yes to him, whether you are here tomorrow or not, you will be with him in paradise. And there is no other better place to be when you leave this filthy earth. God made a beautiful earth and us as human has corrupted it. This is not our home. This is our home away from heaven. Heaven is only promised to those that follow and believe that Jesus is Lord. And to obey his word is better than sacrifice. So once you declare him Lord over your life, then get familiar with the Bible and see what he expects of us. Now, his spirit is dwelling within us in the world the Holy Ghost, the Ruach HaKodesh, that's Hebrew for Holy Ghost, and that is the Spirit of the Living God. And He is here to help us to do the things that He asks us to do. For He says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I, the Lord, will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The burden of the world is heavy. The burden of the Lord is light. Let His yoke, meaning His connection, His hold on us, Break the chains of the world. And the only way to do that is to say yes to his invitation. And to find peace is to follow his voice and to obey his word in the Bible. Do not let nobody trick you out your salvation. The Bible is fully real. It can show itself to you better than I can or anybody else can. God is alive. The ones who run and flee are the ones who are afraid to ask him to reveal himself. I am confident and a living witness. When you ask him to reveal himself to you and you really mean it in your heart, he will do it. Do not be afraid. Jesus is real. And he's here to give us salvation for all those who say yes to the invitation. So will you give your life today? Will you say yes today? Will you say I do today? Hallelujah. It has to be in your heart. If you don't know anything that I'm talking about, you've never even heard the name of Jesus before, or you have no idea of who he is, ask him to reveal himself to you, and he will do it. I pray that this has opened just one soul at the minimum, eyes open to the truth, because tomorrow is not promised. God bless you. I love you, but most importantly, the Lord loves you most. I'm going to say it again because many people go through life and they never truly hear these words. I, Dakari, love you. You are my sister. You are my brother. But most importantly, the Lord loves us most. There is no word created, no sentence or phrase created in any human language over the world that can compare or even comprehend or describe the amount of love that God has for us. Won't you choose the Lord today? That's my prayer for you. In the name of Jesus, amen. And amen. And amen again. And in closing, may the Lord bless thee and keep thee and make his beautiful face to shine upon thee and to be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed. Say yes. And go forward. So then God will lift you up on that great day. <laughs>